now what we're going to learn today is how to create an electrifying text just like that we have there, which is one I prepared earlier. So, what we need to do is first create a new image of, I'll just create it 400 by 400 for this example, just select transparent, hit OK, and then what we want to do is we'll just rename that to background just so we don't get too confused and then what we want to do is go into edit and fill and we'll choose color black sounds good okay so we've got that now what we want to do is type some large text in white for this example we're using impact and 48 and we'll just give it a type the website just and you found this great tutorial Help.com. Now, now what we want to do is rasterize this layer. So we go into layer, rasterize, type, and that's good. Now, what we want to do next is we'll just rename this layer to text, and then we will duplicate this layer by going into layer and duplicate layer. Layer text copy is fine. And then we want to hide the duplicate layer, so we'll just click on the eye to make that hidden. Now, what we want to do from here is rotate or select the original text layer and then uh, ro merge that with the background. So we'll go to layer, merge visible. Okay, so that's done that. Now, we want to rotate the canvas so that we can do some filter effects so we've rotated that 90 degrees clockwise and then we're going to go into filter stylize wind and first we'll do from right and then we want to do that again so we'll just press ctrl f to do that filter again and then we'll go back into filter and do it in the opposite direction and once again we want to do that a second time so we'll just press ctrl f Okay, and then we will rotate it back 90, 90 degrees counterclockwise so it's back up the right way. And then we'll do those two filters again, which is stylize, filter, stylize wind from the left, but we'll only do it once for that, not twice. And then from the right. Now, we want to add a third filter, which is a distort filter and a ripple which you can do at 50% probably 100% is better for this example so that's what that looks like at 100% then what we want to do is add some color so we can go into image adjustments hue saturation and just hit colorize now you can mess around with this to change the color of it if you want that automatically puts it as a blue which is pretty good okay then we want to do what we want to do is uh, go to our text copy layer and make that visible and then just right click on that and so then select select layer transparency now we don't want to colorize the whole thing so we want to contract that by going into into select modify contract and we'll just by two pixels and that's wrong it in that little bit and then we just go into edit fill color black no, just color black hit OK and then right click actually select deselect layers and then we're done okay I hope that's helped everyone out there and good luck